Hey guys, it's me, Asia here, and today we're going to be playing Collision Chaos Zone from Sonic CD. Uh, of course, this is via the Sonic Origins Collection, which is a collection of four classic Sonic titles, including Sonic Hedgehog 1, the first Sonic game to come out for the Genesis, um, Sonic CD, which was an add-on, uh, which will allow there to be an opening and ending cutscene, uh, Sonic 2, which was America's sequel to Sonic one that caused a lot of controversy for the canon, um, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which has a lot of problems with the music, as you might know if you stuck around the channel for a while. Um, but it's also considered one of the greatest Sonic game, or probably the greatest Sonic game of all time. So I'm really excited to get to that one, but we're not going to be playing uh, in indivi these individually. Um, right now, we're doing them c connected through with the story mode. And in Sonic Origins, uh, the story mode connects all four games into one connected adventure using brand new opening and ending cutscenes for each game. Um, so I've been trying to do full playthroughs of... I try to do full playthroughs of each game uh, if I can, but Sonic CD is a long game because each zone takes like half an hour because I have to... Um, this game is like about traveling and back in time to generators and metal sonic projectors um, and, and then I also, have to I also have to collect the time stones um, so that there, which of which there are seven to secure a good future for little planet because little planet uh, is like a it's, it's a place where past present and future collide um, and dr. Eggman as you can see here is taken over um, so we have to stop him and he also has metal sonic on his side right now and he captured Amy so um, yeah, so basically, um, I forgot where I was going with this, but we're gonna do the second zone in Sonic CD today, in the story mode, Collision Chaos Zone, uh, well, we're not gonna, we're, the thing with Sonic CD is that, um, unlike the other games, they call the levels zones instead of the world zones, like, so, essentially, they call the, each world, or, you know, each, they call each world and each level zones. I don't really understand it, uh, but it's something specific to Sonic CD. Um, I don't know why they did it, but anyway. Um, where's it going with this? Oh, yeah. So, because I have to do all this tedious work, um, each zone takes like half an hour, and if I were... There's seven zones in the game, so if I were to combine those, it would be about... 210 minutes, which is... I, I think that's how long it'll be. I don't know. I'm not using pen and paper right now. Calculator for math. But that's like, um... That's over three hours, I think. So, um... And I can't have a video being that long. So that's why I'm separating these by zone. Although, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles will be full playthroughs. Oh, well, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a special case because... Um, if you watch the Sonic 3 Knuckles Speed Chats episode, you know this was divided into two separate releases due to rush production. Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles later uh, that year, uh, 1994, a few months later. Um, so for this game, I'll be doing in like two halves. The first half, which contains all the Sonic 3 levels, and then the second half, which contains the Sonic and Knuckles levels. Um, but today, we're here to focus on Sonic CD. And uh, I realized I never g gave you a tour of this island, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then we'll go ahead and jump into the into the game. So this is Never Lake. Um, see, like this is this is Little Planet right here. This is the place that Eggman's conquer. But um, if if you watch the Palm Tree Panic episode, then you know that Little Planet's being changed to a place called Never Lake. Um, only a few times a year can you go to Never Lake, and then you'll see Little Planet. So Robotnik took that opportunity and decided to conquer the planet. He built Metal Sonic, um, and then he's using the, the planet's time stones to try to erase Sonic from history. Um, so this is basically what Never Lake looks like, and of course Eggman put his face on the mountain that he's chaining Little Planet to. Um, normally, Little Planet looks a lot nicer than it does now. It kind of looks like the Death Star or the Death Egg. 
but that's just because there's like a metallic case around it. Uh, oh, zoom out. I mean, yeah, zoom out. Um, yeah, as you can see, they have little character animations for Metal Sonic, Eggman, Tails, and Sonic running on water. Um, anyway, so let's I let's go into story mode and then let's do Collision Chaos. The thing with Sonic CD is that, um, here, let me pause this so I can just explain. So this game was released for the Sega CD, which was an add-on to the Sega Genesis, um, which allowed them to add an opening and ending cutscene, which I showed you in the previous episode. Um, and it also allowed them to have better music instead of the limited Sega Genesis chip, sound chip, um, which... Uh, you know, it doesn't have as good sound quality as this because it's on a Sega Genesis sound chip, 16-bit music. So, uh, it's not not to say it's bad, but um, in case you're wondering, how did the Sega, how is this possible for the Sega Genesis to sound so good? Just wanted to explain that to you. But anyway, hey Amy, yeah, um, I can't really, like, yeah, I, I'm not ready for that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I know you're in love with me, but please. I, I gotta save the world right now, so. Oh boy! Metal Sonic's capturing Amy! No! Don't worry, Amy, I'll save you! This is the part I was telling you about where Metal Sonic kidnapped Amy. So, um. This game, Sonic Origins, has two modes for each game and when you're playing them individually Anniversary and Classic. Um, the story mode puts it in Anniversary, um, which adds the drop dash from Sonic Mania, and there are unlimited lives. Um, instead, there are coins down at the very bottom left. Um, those can be used to retry special stages um, and unlock content in the museum, of which I've already have 100% unlocked. So uh, eventually, I do plan to do like a full in-depth tour of the museum to show you what's in the premium collection. Um, so, the objective of each level is to go to the past using different signposts you'll find, um, and then destroy generators, which will defeat all, which will, like, blow up all the badniks, so it secures a good future for that zone. Um, and then the metal sonic projectors, you don't have to get those, but it's always good too. Oh no, I'm going to the future. Yeah, going to the future is like a punishment. As you can see, everything looks dark and desolate because this is Eggman's doing. So exclusive to Sonic CD is a move called the Super Peel Out. It's like the spin dash, but you said you look up and then repeatedly press the jump button like the spin dash to rev up. And as you can see, his, his legs, Sonic's legs are like in the figure eight motion. And then you just start sprinting in the flash. Um, but now the objective, we have to find a, a past signpost. So, I hope you find something. Oh no! See, this is a drop dash. This is oh, okay, nothing here. Oh, okay, oh, perfect! Is there like, can I, can I like... And now that uh, the drop dash has been added, I can just like easily go back and forth. Oh, that didn't work. Wait, did I just lose it? Oh, I think I lost it. I'm not sure, let me... Yeah, I just lost it. Darn it. I might have to restart the level if I don't find one soon, but hopefully I do. Ah! Oh, forgot that was there. Ah, oh. this is my least favorite out of the bunch, which is why it's unfortunate that I have to be playing it by the zone. That's a glitch there, I think. I don't even know what just happened there. I just don't want to like accidentally reach the goal. Ah, 
Come on, get me out of here. What is happening? Ah, my God. No. Oh, my God. Get me out of here. Why? No, why is this happening? Ah. Okay, I'm going to have to get out of here the only way I can. I hope that means I can still go to the past. What? Now there's spikes? What? Oh, now they give me invincibility. Real funny. Okay, is there anything here? Okay, obviously it wants us to go this way, so... Let me try. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. No, 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 no. This game is difficult. There should be one around here somewhere. Uh, up, up. A, a signpost to go back. So, this game has more music than you realize because each game, I mean, each level has to have its own, um, or each zone rather, yeah, um, has to have its own past, present, future, I mean, good future and bad future. So, uh, and then on top of that, there's two different versions of the soundtrack because there's the Japanese and then there's the American. So, alright, let's hope I don't screw this up. Yes, we did it. Alright, if I remember correctly, the robot uh, teleporter or the generator shouldn't be too far. Wait, I'm confused. Are we in the past? Oh, wait, we're not in the past. Oh, we're in the present. Oh, okay. Okay, now we should be in the past. There we go. I like this place. Okay, nothing here. What's here? Oh, okay. Ooh, a spring. Nope. Oh. Nope! No, I don't want to go back there. Wait, wait. Can I go up there? Hmm. Maybe I can get up there. I feel like it's up there. No, I don't want to go back. Come on. Gotta get a ring. Okay, there we go. No! Whew. Okay, that was close. Alright, let me see what's up here. I can't see much. But... Wait, I think I just saw a metal sign projector. Yes, I did. Here we go. There we go. Down. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh, no! Oh, come on. What? Oh. A platform. This should help. Okay. Huh? 
Oh, wait, okay, not this again. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there might be something up here. Well, there's a platform. I don't know if it's there, but... No, I want to go down here. I don't want to go to the future. Please, no, no, no. We need to stay in the past. Oh, I hate this part. Hmm, this is like a puzzle. Oh, and I'm running out of time, too. These levels are timed, unfortunately. Alright, it should be up here. Hopefully it's up here. Okay, well, there's a coin. Oh, well, hope. <gasps> oh, no! Great. Oh, man. We didn't secure a good future. It's okay, though. As long as we get all the time stones, uh, we'll still have a good future, but... Alright, well, I'm gonna have to make a tutorial showing you where the, all those locations are, but for now, we need to just play. Don't worry, we'll still get a good future. The way I'm intending to do it is way easier. It doesn't require a bunch of time traveling and stuff. Wait, 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 no, I don't want, I don't, no, uh, stop, 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 stop. Ah. Jeez. There we go. What? Okay, well, we can't go to the past if we want. Alright. And it's gonna probably gonna let me out this way. Oh, okay, platform. What's here? Oh, come on. So, the other- oh, here we go. Here's one. Awesome. Um, so the easier way to get a good future for the whole game is so you have to- kind of like Sonic 1, you have to collect 50 rings and then reach the end with 50 rings or more. Um, so right now we're at 31. We need a few more. Um, but the more tedious way is to, you know, get the generators and metal sonic holograms and stuff. So, but... Um, for those of you who want to challenge yourself and do it the more tedious way, um, I'll make a tutorial eventually showing you how to do that kind of stuff. Alright, making good progress. I love this stuff. The sound effects are so cool. Reminds me of the breaking glass sound from Michael Jackson's, um, you know, his Sonic 3 music that he would put in there. Chrome's not especially. Man, it's a bummer they couldn't use all that music. It's so good. I, I hope I'm not too close to the end because I still have quite a few rings to collect. Okay, we need one more. As long as I don't get hit by any enemies, I should be fine. Ooh! Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, that's the goal. Can I get up here? Oh, no. What if I do this with the out? Will this work? Okay, but no, but I can jump. Aha! Alright, here we go. Oh, there's some rings. Here, launch me up there. Perfect, 55. Alright, we should be fine. So now we jump into the ring. 
And now we're gonna go to the special stage. Alright, Sonic made a good future in Zone 2. Uh, something I should point out. Um, on my channel, I've removed all reposts, so like, all the speed tracks episodes, I removed the IGN first 18 minutes thing. Um, I found that I could just add a playlist to the channel of all the episodes, which uh, puts me at a lower risk for getting in trouble with anybody. Um, so, if you have watched any of my previous videos and you're confused by that, uh, like any video where I reference you to go watch the, any uh, any repost or speed chat episodes or stuff like that, then that's why. Um, and you just have to go into the playlist section of my channel, which I'll link below in the description. Um, and then it'll show you all the things you want. Oh, God, running out of time here. Oh, no. Good thing I'm in anniversary mode and I can retry with a coin, of which I have 219 of, so... Alright, if this takes me, like, three- if this takes me more than three tries, then I'll fast forward to my successful attempt. Just so we can keep the pacing. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh no. I'm gonna lose a lot of time. Whenever I step in the water, I lose more time. Let's get- oh, come on! Okay, that actually helped that time. Oh, come on. The thing about this is that while I did do a good job remastering this, these special stages, um, the uh, it, the depth perception is still oh come on the depth perception see like that depth perception is still really off oh come on if I running if I'm running out of time there will be a special UFO that appears that'll give me extra time. Oh, come on. Ah yeah got him. Okay, so now I'm going faster. Oh, uh, almost lost some rings there. Okay, there's another one. And another one. Okay, good. The speed's only temporary. I actually don't like the speed right now. Oh, no. Okay, now let me do this patient way. Okay, I think there's one left. Did I do it? Yeah, I did it. If I'm correct, I believe this is our third time stone. Yes, it is. Time stone retrieval successful. Let's go. Oh, yeesh. That is a big score. Alright. So... Yeah, I didn't secure a good future for this zone, so now it looks in, like it's a bad future. But in the end, everything's gonna be fine. It's gonna- it's- it's- oh, it's okay. Yeah, see, there he is. Why, you? Is he- what's he dropping? Oh, those things. There's some rings. I hate this boss fight. It's so ridiculously hard. Unnecessarily hard. I like the idea that they're trying to incorporate pinball mechanics, but like, still. It's not a good boss if you're unskilled. I mean, I've played it a few times. Um, because remember, this is my least favorite out of the bunch, so. Okay, now I'm, I'm up here. So I either try to like, launch myself all the way up. Oh, come on. Oh, it's going over there. Do I want to grab it? Oh, awesome, I got it. Oh, if only he didn't throw that ball. Ah. Oh. Dude. Okay, oh, c oh come on. I almost had it. Yes. Gotcha. 
There we go. So I only got through zone 3. Alright, well that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I'll see you next episode for Tidal Tempest Zone. See you guys next time.